Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Mahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akin, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom to your Akin out there. And this is uh, a quick sit down lesson We're on this May the 23rd, 2022, uh, 4.53 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Monday afternoon. And the title of this quick sit down lesson is going to be for today is uh, when a man pleases the Lord, he make peace with his enemies. Where he make his enemies to be at peace with him, you know. And I'm going to bring out Proverbs chapter 16, verse 7. And verse 7 in the book of Proverbs, in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, When a man's way please the Lord, he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him. Right? Because the men of the Lord is the children of Israel, you know. The so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, and the speckled bird, Israelite man, which is make the 12 tribes of Israel, the true lost sheep of the house of Israel, their uh, bloodline goes to the seed of their father from uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know, and they are the real 12 tribes of the children of Israel, so the man of the Lord you know, that does the will and the work of the Lord, you know, you know, doing uh, sit down lessons, uh, edifying sit down lessons, you know, doing the precepts of the day, uh, being out on the highways and byways, you know, feeding the sheep, you know, and keeping the law statutes commands to the best of our ability, much as possible. And once we constantly, consistently do these things, you know, that pleases the Lord. And you know, even our enemies be at peace, peace with us, you know, because you have Bashi he he, he 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 can do that, you know, and that's a beautiful thing, you know, and sometimes I can avoid less conflict, you know, uh, sometimes might avoid less mocking and scoffing, you know, because, uh, you know, you have uh, people that comes up to the men of the Lord because the men of the Lord be out there on the highways and byways preaching the word week in week out in uh uh any given day you know whatever lead whatever lead the spirit through the brothers to do so you know and for an example you might have you know somebody come up might be interested in the word you know you know they come come up to the camp uh humbleness you know and be intrigued with the word it could be from another nation or within our people as well too you know, and sometimes, you know, we can't be at peace with our own people as well, too, because normally most of the time, you know, our people sometimes might scoff, mock at the messengers of uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, and sometimes we might be at peace with our own people as well, too, you know, and including with the other enemy, I mean, with the other nations outside of the nation Israel as well, too, and sometimes, hey, they might be, be intrigued with the word. And then, you know, tell them the, uh, the scriptures if they're interested in it. And our own people if they're interested in it as well, too, you know. And Thwadi Al-Bashim al for giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And giving us the opportunity and chance to do the will, the work of the Lord, you know. That's why I just brought out the scripture, you know. And I'm going to bring it out again for edification. So Proverbs 16 and 7 and verse 7. In the book of Proverbs and the Reeds, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to have peace with him. Right? Because the Lord maketh peace with with our enemies, you know, outside of our uh, nation of Israel, you know. You know, because if we do constantly, consistently in the will and the work of the Lord, you know, that pleases the Lord. So if that pleases the Lord, that make 
the Lord make our enemies to be at peace with us, you know? So that's a beautiful thing. The Wadi Al Bashim Al Shah for that. And hopefully that can be like that on a constantly consistent basis, you know? As we uh, further uh, preach this gospel, the true, right, uh, correct, sound way of the man of great millstone, starting with the elders, apostles, that uh, the Wadi Al Bashim Al Shah that set up. Those great men of a uh, great millstone, the elders, apostles, great millstone, that been in the shoe for uh, thirty plus years, and still going strong, you know, doing the will and the work of the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well too, which is Yahweh Shai, in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And you got the uh, elders and the deacons and the occupant and the bishops and the speckled bird brethren through four corners of the globe. As long as we uh, constantly and consistently do the will and the work of the Lord, you know, that pleases the Lord and, you know, and he make it peace with our enemies for us, you know, and the water y'all about Shemel Shai for that, you know. And uh, this is one more scripture right here and I'm going to close it out. Just a little quick sit down lesson. Uh, this is the book of Romans, chapter 8. Verse 31. And it reads, verse 31 in the book of Romans. What shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh thy power be for us, who can be against us, right? Who can be against us? As long as we got the uh, Heavenly Father on our side, you know? As long as uh, what we do that was order for us to do, you know, keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, uh, wake up our people, you know, even though one third of uh, Israel is going to be saved, a remnant is going to be saved and two thirds is not going to make it, you know, but the ones that have an opportunity to be able to wake up, you know, you know, as long as we uh, constantly and consistently and do the work and the will of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, and who could be against us, you know, because cause we have the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son on our side, you know. Like I mentioned before, as long as we uh, constantly continue do the uh, sit-downs uh, for edification, continue to feed the sheep, feed the lost sheep of the house of Israel, be out on the highways and byways week in and week out, and constantly contest continue to endure and be a good soldier of Yahweh Shai, you know. As long as we can continue to uh, constantly do these things, hey, who can be against us? As long as we have the Heavenly Father on our side, you know. Uh, so with that, I uh, hope this quick sit-down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, and be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom and a ball, ball, ball.